right, 10 seconds to go. We have no idea how the defense is setting up, but I do see that awesome Reinhardt skin once again being used by Moonel. Yeah, we can't, can't zoom out of here. Well, actually, I guess we could. Here we go. Back out into the world now. I'm going to actually watch Roadhog's POV, KYKY on soda cans. He has All right, sweet classic Nico's arch. Game. It can be sometimes difficult to get through. Uh, there really is only the archway and then this doorway to traverse through. Unless, of course, you have a Farah, which most teams will on this map. I think a Farah is basically a must-have on this map, I would certainly say. And they're pushing. The attacking team is doing a full flank around the back. And somehow it's a Winston all the way up top. Winston is going to charge straight forward and try to take down the Mercy. Able to do it, so no Mercy alive for the defending team. And it looks like the kills are going the way of Soda. And there is already a revive up. How the hell is there a revive this early <laughs> in the game? Uh, if it just Mercy's started. primary target um, is a tank and he's taking a ton of damage, she can actually build that meter very quickly, just alternating key and damage. But that's it's similar for Symmetra, being able to drop a teleporter quicker than usual as well. So Mercy's, uh, they can be pretty liberal with their res now, especially since the range is so short. You're really only going to get one or two reses in most cases. Sometimes you do get that big money three or four res, though. Yeah, I'm trying to give the supports a little bit of love, so I'm going to go ahead and watch the Mercy bowed. Bowed. Just, just bod, like Todd. Bod. Okay. I like bowed, though. <laughs> Of course, Mercy's entire job is to damage boost whenever possible and only heal when when needed. To stay really out of this line of sight as much as possible, like Mercy can't do a lot of damage, so always going to be trying to play in a position where she can back off whenever possible and when needed. A couple kills going to both sides, and the Mercy now is taken down by Sure for again, arguably the best Genji in the game right now. Uh, I swear to God, he yeah. is incredibly, incredibly talented. I'm, I'm going to run a 1v1 Genji tournament for all the four or five Genji mains that I know and just do like a round robin deathmatch style, something like that. Please do that. I will. I'm doing it. I want to see a Put it in the books. tournament too. Farah, McCree duels. We're going to do high noon duels. All right, anyway. <laughs> wow, uh, nice coordination there by the attacking team. Melty pushes in, takes down Sherpor in a millisecond, and are collecting quite a few kills now. So defense looking shorthanded. Defense completely down and out. And Melty didn't lose a single player. Degun even had a barrage and didn't even need to use it. I uh, just watched him actually land and punch Sherfor for the final damage to knock him out as well. So Melty just cruising through here. We saw their dominance on Numbani. Uh, even though Prime was able to almost catch them in that last map in the previous series, Melty really knows how to push an offense. Sure does, and that, that type of coordination, incredibly important in the game of Overwatch. You have to be synced up with your team and communicate pushes like that. One of the hardest things to really do in this game is to make sure your team is coordinated to that level, but Melty, again, they have been playing together since the very beginning. Even before the beta came out, they were a team. And Scherfer's drawing straight forward. Scherfer looking for a kill on the Lucio. Rocket Barrage also to combo there. Uh, so the defending team has more or less wiped Melty and uh, stopped the payload. Yep, Melty is going to get set back for basically the first time this game. I think that uh, they've really slowed down at all. I was watching some Surefire, watching some D Gun on attack. D Gun uh, got a good benefit from a res and actually picked off just two direct hits to kill off two members of the defense, but it was not enough as the rest of the team was getting wiped out. D Gun fell shortly after, but here we go. I've got Winston actually crew uh, for Melty going ape right now, knocking tons of people away. Going for that Roadhog, just getting people off the payload. That's all he's got to do. Winston is such a good payload pushing tank. He can literally just sit on it and bubble. And when he ults, he can knock people away from it, similar to Lucio. Really a good all-purpose payload pusher. And look at that. Kill feed just full of dead defenders at this point. Yeah. I think it's great teamwork, man. Uh, Melty just... But that seems to be their their calling in this game is, is the team to show that teamwork really does reign supreme. Now look at this, such an aggressive coordinated push here by Melty. Uh, this might actually bite them in the ass if it doesn't work out, but Degon is able to collect two and a third as well collected here. Shorefor does go down the damage dealer. 
Uh, so defense looking on the back foot, although uh, somewhat even, at least one or two folks having to come from spawn for the attacking team. Uh, but still, this payload has moved very, very consistently, They're barely stopping at all. And because of the Reinhardt shield, the defensive team has to be playing from the back foot. They have to be playing uh, all the way back on the near the final place where this objective ends here. And they're just basically spamming right now. They can't do much more than spam. Yeah, and watching Crew play, Winston actually he's very active with him, not just sitting on the payload. It looks like his entire team is jumping around. You know, we talked about Winston earlier as a potential air superiority tank, being able to leap up at fairs and stuff like that. But I actually just watched Winston leap and kill a Mercy and then leap and wow. kill Genji, sure for who are who are you're giving all the accolades to. Crew literally just leaps at him and zaps him down. It slightly slows him, so Genji actually gets negatively affected by that. And the fact that he can just stay glued to him without having to aim is really, really good. Winston is a great counter for Genji wow. if you're having trouble. Pubs. But Winston raging yes. out again, just knocking people away from the payload, zapping down that Lucio. He's really good against supports as well. They just don't have enough DPS to deal with him. And looks like Zenyatta popping Transcendence out the gate is not going to do much except buy for a couple of seconds. Genji getting targeted again by Winston and getting out of there. But it is going to push through, I think, if they can survive this barrage. They're getting punched. Barrage ends early. I think melty has got it. Yeah, putting up a little bit of a fight. They have actually have delayed this for 30 seconds or so when it looked like it was about to be done. <coughs> Excuse me, so always good to delay that final capture as long as you possibly can. Um, but that's a really good time being set here on Hollywood. Melty looked fairly dominant. Uh, so EU say, guys, we're strong. You know, you, you might have some talent over in NA, but we've got the team coordination and the talent to match. Uh, so very, very strong. That's going to be a very tough time to beat for Soda Cans here. Certainly possible, but I somehow feel like that is just too tall an order at this time. Really good Genji play of the game there, actually from the uh, European Genji, Nico who is also just a great Reaper and McCree player.